A lot of times when I talk about alternatives to animal testing, people really think that that means that you go directly from in vitro, from a petri dish, to testing on people. But that's not true. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Faraz Harsini and I'm here in North Carolina Center for Biotechnology. During my doctorate and afterwards, I've worked in plenty of labs that do animal testing. So a lot of people are concerned that when we step away from animal testing, how are we going to look at a complex system such as a human body when you have multiple organs? Because in vitro, meaning that in a lab on a petri dish, you can't really look at multiple organs. Or can you? So this is what this thing is about. So with these devices, you can actually culture multiple organs from humans uh, on these chips. And then you can add your drug or whatever you want to assess their safety or toxicity and then look at uh, those results using these chips. The beauty of it is you can actually look at multiple systems. So for, for instance, in this one, uh, you can have intestine tissue, you can have kidney, you can have heart and skin and look at all the combination of these organs and how they can actually work together or how they respond as a system to the drug that you're trying to study. And the beauty of it is the data that this generates is more robust than when you actually test in mice. Why? Because it turns out you're not mice and all the data that you get from animal testing you have to take them with a grain of salt because they're not directly comparable with human studies. And even if we look at monkeys and other primates, they still have a very different immune system than us. So this is in fact more accurate and it produces better and more robust data. So because you can actually look at multiple tissues from humans on these chips, your results would be even more accurate than in vivo testing in mice. Because again, it turned out humans are not mice and our physiology is very different. And it gets even better than that. You can have a patient specific chip, meaning that you can take my tissues and then grow tissues from multiple organs from me on these chips and test the drug and see what happens if you actually gave that drug to me because that might be actually different than if you tried this drug on you which is so much better in terms of personalized medicine than if you actually went and test tested this on mice or any other animal. Peace out.